Dear students, welcome to my classroom. In the previous part of the chapter polynomials, we discussed that what is polynomial and what is the degree of polynomial. Also, what is a polynomial in one variable and types of polynomials according to their degrees and types of polynomials according to their terms, according to their number of terms like that. And in this class, we are going to solve the problems in exercise 2.1. Okay. Let us start the exercise. The first problem is find the degree of each of the polynomials given below. And students will learn that the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of that is the highest exponent of highest exponent of its variables. Okay. So let us solve the problems. The first one is x power 5 minus x power 4 plus 3. So, in this problem, we have three terms. In this polynomial, we have three terms that is x power 5 minus x power 4 plus 3. And the degree of first term is 5, the degree of second term is 4, and the degree of third term is 0 because we can express 3 as 3 into x power 0. So, the highest degree of the variables of the given polynomial is 5. So, the degree of the given polynomial is also 5. Okay. So, the degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent of its variables. And in the given polynomial, we have the highest exponent is 5. Take second one. x square plus x minus 5. In this problem, we can clearly notice that the highest degree of the terms of the given polynomial is 2. So, the degree of given polynomial is also 2. Take third one, 5. And in previous part, we discussed that a constant polynomial is a polynomial of degree 0 because here 5 can be expressed as 5 into x power 0 and the power of exponent is, so power of variable is 0. So, that the degree of any constant is 0. So, here the degree of given polynomial is also 0. Okay. Take fourth one. 3 x power 6 plus 6 y cube minus 7. In first term, the degree is 6 and in second term, the degree is 3 and in third term, degree is 0. So, the highest power is 6. So, the degree of given polynomial is also 6. Take third, uh, fifth one, 4 minus y square. And in this problem also, we can clearly notice that the degree of the given polynomial is 2. Sixth one, 5t minus root 3. So, in this polynomial, we have two terms and it is a polynomial in the variable t. And the highest power of t in this polynomial is 1. So, the degree of given polynomial is 1. Okay. So, let us solve the problem, second problem. Which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not? Give reasons for your answer. The first one is 3x square minus 2x plus 5. So, in this polynomial, we can observe only one variable is there, isn't it? In given polynomial, we have only one variable and the variable is x. So, the given expression is a polynomial in one variable. Okay. Since given expression has only one variable x, it is a polynomial in one variable. Take the second one. 
x square plus root 2. And in this expression also, we can notice only one variable and the variable is x. So, since given expression has only one variable, it is a polynomial in one variable. Okay. Take third one. P square minus 3P plus Q. And in this problem, given in given polynomial, we have two variables P and Q. Okay. Since given expression has two variables P and Q, it is not a polynomial in one variable because there are two variables in given polynomial. So, let us go for fourth one. y plus 2 by y where y not equal to 0. So, it seems that it is a polynomial in one variable because there is only one variable in this expression, but first of all it is not a polynomial because we learned that the polynomial should have the exponents which are non-negative integers. But the second term 2 by y can be written as 2 into y power minus 1 where minus 1 is a negative integer. So, first of all given expression is not a polynomial. Okay. So, given expression is not a polynomial because exponent of second term is negative. Take fifth one 5 root x plus x root 5. It is also seems like that it is a polynomial in one variable because we, we can notice only one variable is there. But in first term we have 5 root x which can be written as 5 into x power 1 by 2 and the power 1 by 2 is not an integer, not an integer, is not it? 1 by 2 is a rational number. So, since root x is not an integer, so, sorry, the power of x is not an integer, the given expression is not a polynomial because exponent of first term is not an integer. Take sixth one, x power 100 plus y power 100 and clearly there are two variables in given polynomial. So, the given polynomial is not a polynomial in one variable. Okay. Let us go for third problem. Write the coefficient of x cube in each of the following. So, first one x cube plus x plus 1. So, in this polynomial x cube is multiplied not multiplied by any number. So, the term x cube can be written as 1 into x cube. So, the coefficient of x cube in given polynomial is 1 because here x cube is multiplied by 1 on 1 only. So, the coefficient of x cube is 1. Take second one 2 minus x cube plus x square. So, here we need to write the coefficient of x cube and in second term we have the term x cube and the second term is minus x cube. And minus x cube can be written as minus 1 into x cube, is not it? So, the coefficient of x cube in given polynomial is minus 1. Take third one, root 2 x cube plus 5. Here x cube multiplied by root 2. Okay. So, the coefficient of x cube is root 2. Take fourth one 2x cube plus 5, and in this polynomial x cube is multiplied by 2, so the coefficient of x cube is 2, and in fourth fifth one we have pi by 2x cube plus x, and clearly in this polynomial x cube multiplied by pi by 2, so the coefficient of x cube is pi by 2. And sixth one minus 2 by 3 x cube. So, here x cube multiplied by minus 2 by 3. So, the coefficient of x cube is minus 2 by 3. 
take seventh one, two x square plus five. So in this polynomial, there is no x cube term. So we can include x cube as zero into x cube, isn't it? Zero into x cube is again equal to zero. So the expression will remains unchanged. So the given polynomial can be written as zero into x cube plus two x square plus five. So the coefficient of x cube in this polynomial is zero. Okay. If if a, if a term is not present, then the coefficient of the term is zero in any polynomial. Okay. So in this polynomial, the coefficient of x is also zero because there is no x term in this polynomial. Take eight one. 4 so in this polynomial also there is no x cube term that is x cube is not present in the polynomial so the coefficient of x cube is in, in this polynomial also zero okay so let's solve the fourth problem classify the following as linear quadratic and cubic polynomials students we learned that a polynomial with first degree is said to be linear polynomial and a polynomial of second degree is said to be quadratic polynomial and a polynomial of third degree is said to be cubic polynomial okay so let us classify the given polynomials into linear quadratic and cubic polynomials the first one is 5x square plus x minus 7 so what is the highest power of variable in this polynomial so the first term 5x square the degree of the first term is 5x square is 2 and the degree of second term x is 1 and the degree of third term is 0 so the highest degree of the variable is 2 so the degree of the given polynomial is 2 as the degree of the given polynomial is 2 then it is said to be a quadratic polynomial okay Take second one. X minus x cube. So in this polynomial, the highest power of variable is three. So the degree of the polynomial is three. Hence, it is said to be a cubic polynomial. A polynomial of third degree is said to be cubic polynomial. Okay. Take third one. X square plus x plus four. So we can notice that it is also a polynomial of second degree so it is a quadratic polynomial okay take fourth one x minus 1 so in this polynomial the highest power of variable is 1 so it is a polynomial of first degree so the given polynomial is a linear polynomial A, dig, a polynomial of first degree is said to be linear polynomial. Okay, so take fifth one, three p. So it is a polynomial in the variable p, and the highest power of p is one. So it is also a linear polynomial because it is a polynomial, polynomial of first degree. Take sixth one, pi r square. Here pi is a constant, and r is variable, and the highest power of r is two. So the given polynomial is a polynomial of second degree, so that it is said to be a quadratic polynomial. Okay, students. So let us go for fifth problem. All right. Whether the following statements are true or false, justify your answer. Take the first one. A binomial has two terms. Yes, it is true, isn't it? Because a polynomial with two terms is called a binomial. So in the given statement also, it is given that a binomial has two terms. So the given statement is. true second one every polynomial is a binomial is it true no so the given statement is false 
because a polynomial can have more than two terms also. A polynomial with two terms is called binomial, but a polynomial can have more than two terms or less than two terms. So, every polynomial need not to be binomial. Every binomial is a polynomial, but every polynomial need not to be a binomial. Okay. Take third one. A binomial may have degree 3. Yes, it is true because a binomial should have two terms and the degree of those terms can be any integer. Okay. So, it may have degree 3, it may have degree 4, it may have degree 1, but the binomial should have two terms, but the degree of the, those terms can be any integer. So, let us go for fourth one. Degree of 0 polynomial is 0. It is false statement because 0 is said to be 0 polynomial and the degree of 0 polynomial is not defined. Take next one. The degree of x square plus 2xy plus y square is 2. Is it true statement? Yes. It is true statement because in the given polynomial we have three terms and the degree of first term is 2 and the degree of second term is also 1 plus 1 2 and the degree of third term is also 2. So, the highest degree is also 2. So, the highest power of variable is 2. So, the degree of given polynomial is true because the highest power in x square plus 2xy plus y square is 2. Take sixth one. Pi r square is a monomial. So, as we have uh, pi r square is there is only one term in the polynomial pi r square, the pi r square is a monomial. So, the given statement is true and the justification is number of, number of terms in given polynomial is 1. Okay. So, the given polynomial is a monomial. The given statement is true. So, let us take the sixth problem. <clears throat> Give one example of each of a monomial and a trinomial of degree 10. So, we need to give examples for monomial and trinomial of degree 10. Okay. So, let us write an example for a monomial of degree 10. So, the example for monomial of degree 10 is 9x square y cube. So, in this polynomial, we have only one term so that it is a monomial and the degree of this monomial is 2 plus 8 the, where 2 is the exponent of x and 8 is the exponent of y and the sum of the exponents is 2 plus 8 is 10. So, the mono, given monomial is a polynomial of degree 10. And the example for a trinomial of degree 10 is 5 minus x cube minus 8x power 10. So, in this example, we have three terms. As it has three terms, it is a trinomial. And in this trinomial, we have three terms and the degree of first term is 0 because it is a constant polynomial. And the degree of second term is 3. And the degree of third term is 10. So, the highest degree is 10. As the highest degree is 10, the given polynomial is a polynomial of degree 10. And as it contains three terms, it is a trinomial. So, this polynomial is a trinomial of degree 10. Okay, students. That is the end of the exercise. And in next class, we shall learn about the zero of a polynomial, very important concept. So, do not miss the next class. I see you next class. Until then, bye.